Hi, I'm Ann Peterson. Welcome to Health Perspective by Blue KC, featuring advice from experts on a variety of health topics. It's the place where you'll get the direction you need to make good health choices. Today, Dr. Brad Silver is here to talk with us about diabetes and how type 2 diabetes can be prevented by good health choices. Dr. Silver is an endocrinologist who specializes in diabetes. He's been in practice for 30 years at Shawnee Mission Medical Center. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Silver. The statistics are astounding. More than 20 million Americans having type 2 diabetes and 57 million more on the verge of developing it. But of course, the good news is that type 2 diabetes can be prevented. First, tell us what is diabetes and describe for us the different forms that you can have. Type 1 diabetes is the easiest type to understand. In type 1 diabetes, individuals do not make enough insulin, a chemical in our pancreas. And we need insulin to control our blood sugar. So type 1 diabetes is just a condition in which the blood sugar is high because there's not enough insulin. And that's pretty straightforward. Type 2 is much more complicated because in type 2 diabetes, individuals do not make enough insulin. In addition to that, they do not use it right. That's a condition we call insulin resistance. So they do not utilize their insulin properly, in addition to not making enough of it. So when should you be screened for diabetes? The American Diabetes Association recommends that everybody above the age of 40 be screened for diabetes. But we know that there are individuals who are at much higher risk and should start their screening probably about the age of 20. Those will include people who are obese, people with family history, and women who have some type of menstrual problem or some pregnancy-related problems. Let's talk about some of the symptoms of diabetes. Are they the same for type 1 and type 2? No, type 1 is much more explosive. We think about type 1 as being a condition that comes on fairly quickly. And people with type 1 typically get the symptoms we always think about with diabetes. Excessive thirst, excessive urination, blurred vision, weight loss. These are the standard symptoms that we see in type 1 diabetes. Type 2 is much more sneaky. And probably 70% of all cases of type 2 are diagnosed in an asymptomatic person person who goes to the doctor and has blood tests, person who goes to the hospital for a surgery, they finally have diabetes. And that's what we mostly see in type 2. People don't go to the doctor with those other complaints. They show up, the doctor says, oh, by the way, I have diabetes. The person says, I can't believe it. And they really, they really have trouble believing it at the beginning because they have no symptoms. And when you get diabetes, whether it's type 1 or type 2, how do you treat it? Healthy lifestyle is far and away the most common thing that we, that we emphasize. Now, medications are crucial, and we can talk about medications, but if you don't have the, the, the backbone of good diet and good exercise, the medications just don't work as well. So we talk mostly at the beginning about diet and exercise as being the key components. When you're talking about diet, okay, what does that mean? Because well, is it the same as with heart disease? More fruits and vegetables, or are there specific foods that you should eat in order to prevent diabetes? We've seen an amazing change in the recommendation for food during my 30 years of practice. And we, we all know this in society. We talk about the high carb and the low carb and the high fat and the low fat. And we've really gone back in this day and age to low carb diets. They were, they were popular and they became unpopular. But right now, I think we're all pretty clear that people need to restrict their carbohydrates. Now, what I mean by that, I mean the starchy carbohydrates. I mean the pastas, the bread, the potatoes, the chips, those types of things really need to be reduced in quantity. Emphasis, though, should be placed on the good carbs, fruits and vegetables, as you just said. Those are the things we should be emphasizing. This has been fantastic advice. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Silver. Thanks for joining us today for Health Perspective. For more information on diabetes, visit the Education Center at bluekc.com. Be sure to come back next month for tips on another health topic. And register on BlueKC.com today to put yourself on the path to better health.